we on? Pull it up, about right there. Text, making sure that my kid's good, good. He's out of school. What's good, YouTube? What's up with y'all? That's not usually what I say. I usually say, what's up, creatives? Today, we're gonna, ah, all right, whatever. What's up, creatives? What's good, creatives? What's good, my creative people? I feel like the word creatives has just been overly used lately. Okay, y'all probably like over this. Let's get, let's move on. As you can see, there's a whole new setup in here now. Uh, I got this desk, got this desk right here. Super excited about the desk. Now I can put things here and like, talk about that you know what i'm saying but i'm not gonna be here for much longer so that's the first update um i'm moving i'm not moving out of atlanta so i'll still be in atlanta georgia but i'm moving to a better place where i can just have like more creative space i want to put all this rather than right here where my couch is i need a dedicated space for this but i won't be moving until the top of the year so i'll be here for two more months i decided to just change it so typically my desk would be like back there and the picture was in a different area and the black mantle was over top of my desk with cool stuff on it and this was all centered you could see that beam light back there a lot better i decided to change it because i was just like not having any motivation i wasn't like inspired i felt like everything was looking the same i needed something fresh i needed a change also why i got rid of my 1dx mark ii and picked up this eos r as you can see it looks the same we're not going to talk about gear actually we are going to talk about gear real quick i'm actually digging this canon eos r a lot but i'm gonna keep my 1dx mark ii as well go ahead say it drop the comments down below told you he was gonna keep it i told you he was gonna go back to the 1dx you're all right of course i love the 1dx it's amazing camera the 1dx mark III is coming out so i'm just gonna keep the 1dx2 and the eos r both until the 1dx3 comes out then we'll see what happens then but until then nothing's changing the 1dx is a beast the eos r is a beast hence why i'm keeping both of them i need two bodies anyway for this youtube thing you know i need to have two bodies typically i'd like to have like a camera right here shooting down so you can see like me spinning this whatever that's all you need to know about gear because let's be honest gear is not what makes dope projects it's creativity it's drive it's ideas it's not even quality you can like make something with a gopro and it could be really memorable and really touching so with that being said we're off we're not talking about gear anymore i'm done thinking about it i just dropped some new lightroom presets so if you follow me on instagram i was talking about dropping my la lightroom presets which i was making like a month ago when we were out in la shooting a music video they're fine out so the new la lightroom presets they're out you can click the link down below go to my store check them out and you know what i'm f i'm feeling generous we're gonna do 50 percent off the whole store not the new la lightroom presets but the rest of my store 50 percent off for what's today thursday you know what we could just do it all weekend we're gonna do 50 percent off my store everything besides the la lightroom presets is 50 percent off until Monday morning, 8 a.m. Monday morning, because that's when Ace goes to school. If you're not familiar and you're new to the channel, Ace is my son. I shoot music videos, I do vlogs, I do tutorials, I teach, I do all types of cool stuff. I take photos. I'm actually getting more into photography now. I really like photography. It's really fun. I'm having a good time taking photos. As you can see, I'm having a great time just talking and rambling right now. And why is that? Because I'm super inspired that I changed this look up. You got the light bouncing off the side of the wall. I got this desk. It's so cool. Now with this setup, I don't have to move anything around. Before, when I had the other setup i had it in front of the window and it was blocking the tv i'd have to break down the light break down the tripod break down my mic do all types of things every day to clean this place up it was just like making the process harder now i could just leave this light here cut it on and off i can leave my mic right here i can leave my camera sit on the tripod i don't have to do anything i record take the memory card out slide it into my computer which is right here in front of me and now tutorials are going to be a lot easier now i can really start banging out some tutorials teaching you guys some effects that i got like up my sleeve you know what i'm saying i'm just mad excited right now it's gonna be a lot of cool new things coming to the channel i'm like really behind on my vlogs we are here in la there's something new about me so don't trip out when you see me but here it is my hair is different anyway we're in la yc what's up what up bro? <laughs> <laughs> always so quiet so yeah you want to go fly drones all right i guess that's it let's go fly drones let's get it had to bring the big bull up to the top flow. Top flow, man. We about to go get some egg slut at the Grand Central Market again. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> That's dope. 
I got three or four vlogs that have been shot and they're sitting waiting to be edited. Don't kill me guys, they're coming, I promise. So I'm actually just finishing up a project that I did for a memory card company. I don't know if I'm allowed to even say their name or if I was even allowed to say that, but that project should be coming to the channel soon. Really dope, had a good time making it, had my boys come out with me and help me make it. You, you'll see. I'm actually gonna make a whole behind the scenes video on that if I'm allowed to. If I'm not allowed to, I guess you'll never see it. But I have plans on making it. I have my boys come out with me, help me shoot the actual project, help me shoot the actual BTS of it. It's dope. And also I'm gonna actually change that LA vlog that I did the second time going out with YC and working with the company WCO. I'm actually gonna flip that vlog into another type of project where I talk about filming behind the scenes for other people and kind of like tips and tricks and my take on filming the behind the scenes of that actual project that YC had set up with WCO and Sob Story. I got the idea from YC. Thank you, bro. If you're watching, thank you for that idea. It's definitely gonna be dope. Always. It's always a pleasure working with my brother. Speaking of my brother YC, he just dropped his Patreon today. So if you are a fan of YC and you watch us both, head over to his channel and check out the most recent video. I'll link it down below as well in this video or an info card if I can figure out how to do it. If you're not familiar, YC shoots music videos as well and he just dropped a Patreon about behind the scenes, pre-production. It, it, it looks dope. I'm actually super interested in checking that out. Which leads me to a couple more things that I'm working on. I'm working on a couple different video transition packs and I'm just gonna make these like from scratch. I'm gonna make like some psychedelic transition. I'm gonna make some more displacements because people absolutely love my displacement video transitions. I love them, they're dope, they're super dope. And then I think I'm gonna make some more grunge transitions as well. I'm really just into making assets right now, not only because obviously it helps me financially, I can make money off of it, but it helps out a lot of different people and it sets trends for this actual culture. Like I've seen my transitions and my frames in so many different places and it makes me really happy because people actually have these templates where they can make really good good stuff with now rather than if they were just trying to do it from scratch and were just had no clue or maybe didn't have any ideas on how to make a new um, frame to preview their music videos with it's just cool to see you know the transitions and the frames and the Lightroom presets just floating around helping people achieve the look that they want helping people get more clients that shit is so cool to me and I did not mean to cuss just now I was just like passionately talking I got some cool new music videos coming out as well I'm gonna start posting more music video stuff on my Instagram. I've noticed that it's just like a lot of cool inspirational pictures of me just standing in places with nice, inspiring, motivating captions, which isn't a bad thing because, you know, that motivation strikes hard. But I want to see some more stuff on my page about what I actually do, my music videos, my photography, me taking a photo. So I'm just like talking and talking and talking right now about a bunch of I guess it's something, but I'm just talking right now. I have a whole list of new YouTube videos that I'm gonna be working on. I, they're tutorials, they're teaching videos, they're teaching you my style, how I get B-roll, how I do this, how I edit music videos, what kind of transitions I would use in this scenario, how I edited this photo, why I take photos like this. But I'm, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty stoked about this whole little setup right here that I got going on. I've been knocking out some work, so you're gonna see a lot more coming up. Hopefully we're gonna upload one to two videos a week. We're not gonna overly do it because I have projects and I have a person life but expect a lot more hit the bell on my channel so you're notified when all the new videos drop and you're not like in the dark go follow me on Instagram so you can see like what's going on on a daily basis I post cool stories I take a lot of time making my stories I take photos with my camera I post them on my story like really nice stories that I feel like I take a lot of time to do so go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already make sure you hit the notifications too so you can see when my stories come up because Instagram's algorithm is trash but that's it man today's just like an update video I haven't put out a video I've been working, I've been like in the shadows, working on this memory card video, working on other music videos, trying to get like projects done and get from being behind. Oh, not to mention, I'm going on a road trip to Colorado, November 15th to November 24th. I'm going on a road trip to Colorado. So if you live in Colorado, if you know some creative people that live in Colorado, make sure that you comment down below or hit me on Instagram, DM me, let me know because I'm looking for all types of cool stuff to get into. I'm trying to go skiing. I'm trying to create cool B-roll sequences at abandoned railroads, all type cabins, mountains, all cool. I'm trying to get into all types of cool stuff when I come to Colorado. We were like supposed to do this trip so long ago, so we're finally getting to it. It's getting cold, it's gonna be dope. We're gonna be in the mountains, I'm super excited. 50% off on the store all weekend. Besides the LA Lightroom presets, links below to everything we talked about. It's 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 good to see you guys, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you guys have come to the channel today. Make sure you like this video, drop those comments, let me know what you wanna see more of in the future. And I'm out of here, I'll see you guys 
us next time. Peace.